Today I'll be talking about how to study physiology. Physiology is actually a really fun subject. It's very interesting. It's filled with bodily processes like neuromuscular junction, gas exchange, the cardiac cycle, ECGs, all that really, really awesome stuff that doesn't actually require a lot of memorization but more understanding so this is one of the subjects that is very conceptual and i would say it's one of the smooth easier subjects of med school and usually everyone enjoys this subject there's a lot of overlap between physiology and pathology and that's because you need to know how the normal processes of the body work before you can understand how the abnormal uh, manifestations of those processes are which would be in the form of diseases so the books that you need is the big book is Gain and hall medical physiology usually every medical student has this book you can also buy the summary one which is called pocket guidance it's up to you and the small book is brs physio you get another option that some people use is costanzo and brs physiology is basically a summary of costanzo which is another textbook you can use and when i when did i use this textbook i used costanzo for a lot of my vascular and blood pressure physiology and the reason why i did that was because uh, Guyton was very long-winded and I didn't have time to cover through all of it so I just decided to offer Casanzo because it was much more concise and shorter. So you can always use Guyton as a reference book for more difficult topics. I do however recommend using this book and reading through it because I find it to be a really beautiful resource for understanding almost everything about a physiological concept or just a process. Uh, so how to study it effectively? So there's a couple of st steps and I've kind of come to, came up with six steps that uh, help me. Uh, however, it doesn't have to be the same for you. It could be different. So whatever study method works for you. I do like to read through Gaiin and uh, it's probably one of those only sub, uh, textbooks that I actually read through because I do find that it really helps supplement your understanding. It is very, very long. Uh, but I would say it explains the concepts well. So if you have more of a difficult concepts, then I would definitely recommend going through Gaiin. The easier concepts uh, can usually even be covered through lecture slides. In my uni, they make the lecture slides out of Gaiin. You can even read through Pocket Gaiin if that's what you want. It's like Baby Gaiin. It's like a smaller version of Gaiin, but this is totally up to you and uh, i would not force or enforce anything on you like i said reading textbooks is really a choice it's not mandated it's a choice you're making so make the best choices for your most effective learning watching ninja nerd i find this to be the best youtube channel for my physiology needs and this guy draws a wonderful phenomenal illustrations on the board which i do recommend you draw as well if you are watching ninja nerd don't just watch it draw the illustrations that will enforce those concepts much more sometimes there are university profs that tend to draw for physiology instead of like show you lecture slides and i find that effective too so if you have a prof like that and that's really awesome because you can draw those illustrations it'll allow for those concepts to stick in better physiology is a very visual subject so you don't have to be a visual learner to draw for this subject i would recommend anyone who can draw not just maybe draw but just anyone who's in this course doing this course should draw because it is very visual so it helps to understand it that way now i would use osmosis for viewing new concepts just the first time i was seeing it so osmosis is, there's a bunch of free youtube videos and this is a great resource for med school because it puts everything into like 10 minute six minute seven minute short videos and let's say you're studying a difficult topic like ecgs you don't know where to start with it's good to start with an osmosis video and to just look at that video get a good glance uh, get an idea and then start reading your textbook just so you can prep your brain for the new content that you're learning uh, using lecture slides to add information you're unaware of some uh, physiology profs are really good at teaching physiology however not all of them so whichever profs you find are very helpful for you uh, watch their lectures and attend their lectures because it will be advantageous to you now for profs that you know perhaps just read through lecture slides or you don't understand it that well I would still recommend going through those lecture slides but maybe perhaps after you've covered the topic yourself and uh, then you can just skim through lecture slides for information that you don't know and there is benefit to even attending lectures of profs that you don't understand because you will retain something in class however for I guess most effective learning it's better to look at those lectures later on if there is nobody recording at your uni 
then maybe you can read through lecture slides uh, and uh, you know perhaps if a friend has attended it ask them if there was anything important that was mentioned so making Anki cards for things you can forget I mentioned this in every one of my videos I definitely recommend uh, medical students to start using Anki early on just to get practice of how to write and make your own questions I do find that more beneficial because you can make them concise and you make it you can make them relevant to your learning uh, because there are so many decks out there guys you can't do every single deck and you're never gonna know which one to do so I would recommend making your own because the curriculum you are doing is very different from the curriculum that maybe you know at the USMLE decks that there is a lot of USMLE decks the curriculum in that is a bit different and the high yield content is a bit different than what uh, Pakistani universities test on or another med school somewhere else tests on so things like the order of the complement cascade the clotting cascade heart sounds knowing when the heart sounds happen at which you know phases and then phases of the cardiac cycle knowing all those phases these are things that you can turn into Anki cards because they're one of the forgettable, um, I guess, concepts. So a lot of the nitty gritty things. However, the overarching theme I would give you guys is that understanding the subject is very, very important. It is actually mandatory for you to understand things first before you go into the nitty gritty details. Those details will come together once you have the big idea. So. I would use BRS physiology at the end of like my chapters or you know module to really test my understanding the questions are a little more critical and this really allows you to see if you've really understood your physiology because if you do you'll probably be able to answer those questions however if you have a bit of a weak understanding it'll give you that cue and you can then cover the um, the concept more in detail to understand it uh, better so those were my six tips i hope you enjoyed this video um, make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel like comment what you want me to post next and also follow through with my blog i post really awesome content on there so definitely check it out and if you have any questions feel free to dm me on instagram thank you guys that's fantastic days bye bye